Uh, my name is Jeff Donahue. And I'm Katie Aiken. And we are from Elysian Labs in Southern California. Los Angeles to be exact. Close enough. <laughs> Orange County. Orange County. It's better. Yeah. Don't judge. It's sunny. <laughs> uh, we've been making e-liquid for like close to five years since 2013. 2013, yeah. Yeah, right around 2013. So that's three years. Oh, no, it's... Your math's a little off. Well, I've been making it since 2012. I've been making e-liquid since 2013. She's been making e-liquid a little longer. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Same difference. We uh, came out here to Russia. Um, to show you our brands and bring our product out here because uh, we believe in a um, vape lifestyle and this is something we've emulated through our whole careers out in California and the rest of the United States. So we uh, came out here to Russia to show you who we are. Yeah, we brought our uh, e-liquid. This isn't all of the e-liquid um, flavors we have, but we did bring a few with us. We have 31 individual flavors. 31 flavors, mm -hmm. yeah. It's like Baskin Robbins. <laughs> they have Baskin Robbins here? Yeah. yeah. They do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we got 31 flavors uh, from all over the spectrum. Um, some of them that have been out for quite a while and some of them that are just not released. So. Yeah, we've really focused on the newer brands um, over here and, and some of the more popular flavors from our older brands. To launch a new brand in the USA is, is damn near impossible. <laughs> um, we have the luxury of being have been, having been around for a while. Um, both of us are, are pretty well known within the United States. Um, I, I work for a magazine. I'm, I'm the director of a magazine called Vapon, which is distributed nationally as well as internationally uh, through uh, wholesale distribu distributors. Um, but we've been in the game long enough, I think you'd agree with me, that, that our, our brands are sustainable. Um, they've been around long enough that they still sell. Um, well, and the thing about launching a new brand in the United States, it, it, no one really can right now. We have rules and regulations that have been in, put in place that no longer allow new products to be released at all. Um, so the stuff we have is done from pre-release and, and even with our reputations and stuff, it is quite a struggle because, I mean, the, with the rules and regulations coming down, not to mention, you know, the hundreds of thousands of other people that have, you know, collapsed into the industry, um, it makes it a very difficult thing. You have to be really up on your game, you have to be up on your social media, you have to be involved and active. Um, or and you, you have to have good juice. You do have to have know? good juice. It's important nowadays. You know? What it was is uh, August 8th, the FDA, the um, dr basically the Federal Drug Administration. Did I say that right? Yeah, Federal Drug Administration. Federal Drug Administration. Uh, that was the last day anybody could launch an e-liquid product. Um, so everybody launched an e-liquid product at, on August 8th. And what that basically is, is it oversaturated the market. Um, so, you know, our brands that had sustained and, and lived were, were still selling, but we were seeing decrease in sales. Um, anything new that we added, um, we had to work twice as hard to, to get anywhere. And it's not just us, it's, it's Everyone. every brand you could possibly think of. Every brand, every American brand that you've seen over here is, is seeing a decline in sales. We will be taking all of our products and attempting to do the FDA registration. Um, the complications with the United States government right now is uh, they're kind of monopolizing it. Uh, we really have a lot of corruption in our um, government that is coming in and, and basically wanting to see profit from something that we've created. And so they're over-regulating our product to make it really hard for small business to be involved which is what you would think would be the opposite of what the United States would normally do. But since we have the government and big tobacco involved, they're kind of like coming at us. Um, right now, the estimate of just one flavor is like, I mean, people have estimated it with the way the regulations are set now, it could be a million dollars to just do one flavor. Um, we're not going to stand idly by. We're going to take all of our products and we are going to continue to push until we get to a place that they are not allowing us to, to do anything else. Um, part of the strategy we've implemented to make sure that we are a lasting uh, brand and they are lasting in the industry is we've taken what we've known from the United States and we're building a facility in uh, a manufacturing facility in England. And we're really working to um, have that facility and have that kind of presence in the rest of the world that we've made in the United States. Um, we are already TPD compliant, which is European regulations. Uh, they were much more um, lenient. Yeah. 
they were they regulated. Regulation is important. It's important to have something on the market that you know that what is in here. Like we we want that for you guys, but. What the United States is doing is over-regulation. What England did, they want their people to be able to vape, they just want them to be able to vape safely. So we passed with flying colors. Yeah. So it makes it a lot easier to work from a facility like that uh, until we know what happens in the United States. Just to, to touch on one other point, I don't know if uh, big tobacco is a term that's referred to in America um, as the conglomerate of tobacco companies. I'm not sure if that's that's a thing here. Um, and and one other point that that Katie kind of kind of missed on that one was, it's not only the big tobacco because big tobacco they, they make billions of dollars a year regardless. Um, the real, the real enemy for us is big pharma, which is the conglomerate of pharmaceutical companies. Um, here, you know, I, I caught an upper respiratory infection and went to the, uh, the pharmacy and bought antibiotics. That's not the way it works in America. It's very, very strict and very regulated. The people, the harm reduction model is based on big pharma, not anything else. So big pharma is losing money, big tobacco is losing money. They don't want us to vape. It's the ultimate. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great possibility. Um, I think that anytime you get into instances like this uh, with overregulation, you see uh, a monopoly take place, with a couple big companies coming in and uh, being able to really control and dominate the market. I don't believe that will happen in the US. I truly believe that um, the corruption is uh, getting to be pretty transparent. And with Trump as our president, um, it's it's kind of one of those things that you know as long as as long as we keep fighting the good fight, the regulations aren't going to stay as they are today. Um, and if they do, you're definitely going to see a monopoly of bigger, larger companies come in. But we truly believe that's not going to happen. Um, I mean, there's been a, a lot of really good advoc advocacy in, in America about this, and specifically uh, a billion lives. Which, if you haven't seen it. Um, you should check it out. There's it's, actually a Russian subtitle version. I can get you a link for it. You know, it, it's not. Uh, we, we won't stand. We won't stand by and, and let them roll around us. We're not going to. I think. I think you should clarify something too. Um, the the PMTA process, which is is what it is, is called the pre market tobacco application. There's only. I, I'm not. Don't quote me on this, but I believe there's only six entire applications in the history of the PMTA that have actually passed. I'm pretty sure it's, it's six. It's nearly impossible. Um, it's not. It's not something. It's not meant for us to to apply and go through all these steps and pay this money and have it approved. It's it's meant for us to fail. Mm. Well, it, it kind of varies. Um, we've been around for a really long time, so we have products from our original line, Elysian Elixirs, that have been selling since, uh, you know, four years ago, that are still selling today. But then we have new stuff that comes in and, and hits really hard, like specifically K. Uh, out here, even in Russia, I mean, we brought it here to Rusky Vape, what is that, four months ago? And, we, you know, we had orders before we left. Um, it's a very, very popular flavor. Uh, it, it's really amazing. Um, this lemon cream flavor, we were at a show in, um, in Reno, 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 Reno Nevada. Nevada. It's one of the, um, it was one of the West Coast vaping premiere shows out there. And we won two awards. We won best savory flavor for our category. And then the second award we won is a really big deal. It was best in show. And the reason it was such a big deal is because we were up against a lot of very, very, very popular. Five Pawns, uh, Sick Boy. Um, any, any, Casadega. Any, yeah, Cas um, Casadega. So boosted. Really, yeah. yeah, Boosted. Um, I don't know what's popular over here versus, yeah. you know, but these are those, very, those very, are very prominent American yeah. brands. So we won both. We actually took the whole show, best in show, with this flavor. Um, and it's, it's quite wonderful. Um, the, the fact that we were able to do that, uh, it, it gives us a lot of honor. Um, we really, really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really great. It, it was it was an honor. Yeah, it really was. I mean it's it has it has many parts. Um your branding obviously is is one of the first things cuz cuz we're visual people. So we want something that looks good. Um, you know, when if you can get a product into somebody's hands through the branding, if the flavor is no good, nobody's going to buy it again. Um, so that would be I, I think your your second um mm -hmm. third um, 
reachability? Yeah, yeah, reachability. What I mean, you know, having access to the product, the quality of the product, um, you know, going quality. through the correct distro channels mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that the product's being sold, um, not not just you know, you can get into a distro that has you know distribution that has a hundred brands and they're not going to focus on your brand um, yeah. which is why we try to handle the majority of our distribution ourselves in, in the house. US mm -hmm. in the in the US yeah I mean we're not we're not here so it's not <laughs> as, as, as simple for us to run yeah. around and promote our brand um, social media social media is kind of taking a, 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 a back step from where it was uh, a year or two ago a um, year or two ago we sold all of our liquid on on social media it was all Instagram and Facebook and Facebook groups and now it's just so flooded that you know you're you're a dime a dozen yeah you know you would go you'd be on social media before a couple years ago and you'd literally you'd go into a vape convention and every single person would know who you were it was mm -hmm. crazy it was crazy the industry was so tight-knit and it was all about the online presence um, it's definitely less today but it's, it's still a really big factor and whether or not you know you have a, a real presence in the community is whether or not you're active in social media. Yeah, I miss those days. Yeah, <laughs> those were good. <laughs> Uh, we're really excited to you, be out here in Russia. You, uh, can, you can have her. <laughs> Stop it. If you find her, just take her. <laughs> keep her, please. <laughs> Stop it. Don't keep me. We're really excited to be here. We really, really we love really Russia. Um, we believe that Russia and the United States have so much in common, and uh, we really like your scene here, um, your vape scene. It's, it's, uh, it's inspiring. It re reinvigors us with the passion that we had before. Yeah, we traveled here twice. No, that's about six thousand miles from California. Yeah, and, uh, in like we, four months. Yeah, in four months. Yeah. Uh, and we've been welcomed with open arms, yeah. and, and we appreciate that. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>